Modern science has given us many modern miracles. Television, auto gyros, and instant foods. And this same science brings us modern selling. The Salesman's How-To Series. The fighting is finally over, and the G.I. Joes have come home. The war brought many changes, not only the peace and prosperity that we Americans all can now enjoy, but a future of unlimited potential, undreamed of wealth. We have the power to discover better ways of doing things, new opportunities, advanced techniques, scientific improvement. This movie training series, which is money back guaranteed, is designed to show you how to take advantage of these new opportunities. If your job is selling, lingerie or loans, autos or umbrellas, watch this lesson and you too can grab onto that brass ring of scientific progress. Dr. Ernest A. Holbrook, founder of the Institute for Modern Methods and consultant to this training series, explains. Through many years of careful research, not only painstaking, but extremely methodical, my colleagues and I have made a breakthrough. Applying the principles of today's modern sciences of sociology and uh, psychology, we have developed several scientific principles guaranteed to improve sales performance. They are effective no matter the circumstance, no matter the product. Dr. Holbrook has trained literally hundreds of salesmen with this film series. Sell a house a week. Sell a car a day. A lifetime in shoes. Door to door is easier than you think. Babies mean money. Lending to vets. And today's lesson is lending to the ladies. Business is changing. Stand still and you'll be left behind. Whole new markets have opened up since the war. Prominent among these is women. Dr. Karenita Hightower, formerly associated with a leading Eastern University and known author, is writing a book about these deep economic changes. The late 1940s is seeing a whole new class of women. Many, having to manage for the first time during the war their own financial affairs, are finding a kind of economic independence heretofore unknown to the fair sex. These women fall into three general categories. Those whose sweethearts have returned from the war and with whom they are now starting young families. Those not so lucky, whose husbands died overseas and or who are learning to live alone. And finally, those women never fortunate enough to find a husband in the first place. Paragraph. Women made sacrifices, just like their men, for the war effort, and it changed them. Now, even though they are leaving these jobs and fulfilling their traditional societal roles as wives and homemakers, the war and their work experience has left them changed. This upheaval will have complex social and economic repercussions with regard to the male sex. For instance, the newfound feminine confidence may confuse men who no longer will know, automatically, how to relate to their female counterparts. But where there is change, there is opportunity. Well, guys, it seems the gals are going to be wearing some of the pants for a while. Let's face it, our business is changing. Looks like we're going to have to learn what makes the modern woman tick. After all, you can't sell them if you don't know them. Listen carefully now to four Holbrook principles and you can't go wrong. Principle number one, know your customer. Claudia or Sue, Mary Jane or Molly. Everybody knows that women being members of the fairer sex are better mannered than men. Being polite by nature, they feel that pleasantries and small talk are important. This behavior, though nice, has little part in the rush of the modern world. But like all old habits, it should not be encouraged. So for her sake, restrict all unnecessary conversation. Remember, it's not only the men these days who are in a hurry. She may have a club meeting to go to or a new outfit to pick out. Maybe she hasn't put in the meatloaf yet for dad and the kids tonight. 
so fellas, make it short and sweet, okay? And remember, there are probably customers waiting. Principle number two, act like a professional. Women, new to the financial world, will probably be a little nervous and looking for direction from a man. So naturally, she wants to feel that you know what you're doing. Reassure her with your expertise. Charm, of course, helps, but charm is cheap. No, your lady customers will be looking for someone they can rely on. And what good is your knowledge, after all, if she can't see it? I hope you understand, Mr. Bickford. This is my first loan, so I have a few questions. Mm -hmm. It is not really clear to me whether we, my husband and myself, would be better off by consolidating our bills or by just getting the $100 loan that I originally came in for. But $300 is an awful lot of money, after all, and... Now, way, Molly, now, Molly, I take care of customers whose problems are just the same as yours every day. By the way, what are you going to name the little one? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Well, listen, you have nothing to be worried about because we've got just what the doctor ordered for you. What you need is a $300 fully amortized personal, and we could even make it one of our even-dollar payment plans. You can't... That away, Bob. Another success. So remember, don't use words that just any amateur on the street could use. Inspire her confidence. Let her know you're a professional. I never dreamed that I could qualify for a loan before, especially with all these busy people and all. I'm so excited. Principle number three. Always talk to the breadwinner. Good morning, Consolidated. How may I help you? Hello, good morning. My name is Mrs. Day, and I'm interested in obtaining a loan. Well, you certainly have come to the right place, Mrs. Day. Hey, what kind of a loan were you interested in? Well, I'm not sure, actually. You see, we want to add a bedroom to the house. I see, in addition to the house. Well, I wonder if perhaps it would be better if I talked to your husband. Does he usually handle this sort of thing between the two of you? Quick thinking, Buzz. It's clear her husband should have been making that call. Always try to talk to the breadwinner. But if he isn't home, just do the best you can. Principle number four, stay calm and collected. Is that a fact? My sister always wanted to be a nurse. Wouldn't stand the sight of blood, though. Really? Fainted? But to get back to the loan, going in twice is going to be difficult. Yes, he works full time, too. And for me, I'm finishing night classes, so things have really been very hectic. Now, now, Mrs. J, there is no need to get overly excited. That won't get us anywhere, will it? As the French say, vive la différence. So if she gets a little emotional dealing in the man's world, there is nothing wrong with that. Just don't let her hysteria throw you off. Stay calm and cool if you want to make that sale. So to summarize the Holbrook principles, Act like you know what you're doing, and the modern woman won't threaten you. Besides, this woman's thing, this newfound independence, is probably only a passing fad, like the family car. Dr. Holbrook tells us that by 1980, 85 at the latest, the automobile, so much a part of our modern lives today, will be a thing of the past. He says that, with the omnibuses and auto gyros gliding dad to his three hours of daily work, and the kids off to school, Mom, with a house that practically takes care of itself, won't have to worry about loans. All she'll have to do is sit back and enjoy herself. In the future, things will be different again.